dear diary greetings after what i shared in the last diary entry one might be excused um, when he believes that i think i believe interest to be a sin but i do not what is a sin that is a different question we will talk about it some other day but in today's monetary system i do not believe interest or taking interest to be a sin it may have been a sin in the world of fixed money supply such as gold coin for gold is not inflatable on demand fiat currency basically based on debt is so interest is not a sin today it is merely stupidity why do i say that i say that because if a bank gives you 10% interest while at the same time the banking system inflates the money supply by 25% you are essentially losing approximately 15% there's no question of gain there so in a debt based fiat currency regime interest is a basic building block on the other hand in a fixed currency regime or fixed currency supply regime again say the gold coin interest will lead to progressive cornering of a greater and greater proportion of the money supply by the usurious money lender theoretically he could own all of the currency how is that possible it is possible because say if he is taking um let's say 7.2% interest every 10 years he is gonna double the gold coin that he has on interest that he has lent on interest so presuming that all of the money will be lent at some or the other time all of the money will reach that all of the money that has been lent will reach that persons that usurious lenders coffers sooner or later and no money supply means no economy therefore in a fixed money supply regime interest is a bit of a difficult proposition to 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 clearly support uh but again uh, a strictly fixed currency system is probably not practical probably also not desirable um how well um, let's go to the time let's say that there was a time when there were only two individuals say adam and eve and they were living in the paradise and uh, you know um adam's responsibility was to hunt and eve's responsibility was to gather and to make life comfortable for adam and adam's uh, responsibility was to fight and defend and you know hunt now in the paradise there was nothing to def- nobody to defend against uh, there was nobody to fight and obviously there were lots and lots of uh, you know animals beautiful animals uh, by the way who have a lot of flesh so all adam really needed to do was to grab the deer or doe walking by him and bring the meat to 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 eve and uh, eve would have the responsibility of really um caring for that meat for a week and then uh, for gathering seeds which it's not easy to get and then you know grinding them and making flour out of them and 
you know making a bread out of them so really hard work and then collecting all the leaves and making a, a bed for Adam and herself so lots of work uh, for Eve so Eve was not very happy you know so she went and complained to God she said look this Adam guy he does nothing and I end up doing everything um, so God called Adam and said what is this I am hearing Adam said God uh, you only gave me these uh, responsibilities and I am fulfilling them God said no oh, shit I'm cornered so he came up with an idea he said all right fine now I'll make a system by which you guys can balance each other's responsibilities and these guys said okay fine whatever you say you're God so God really conjured 100 gold coins and gave 50 to Adam and 50 to Eve and said right now you guys are, are on your own from now and don't come back to me with complaints uh, what you need to do my dear Eve is to balance uh, you know using the market forces and make sure that whatever um, Adam brings for you whatever labor he puts in is balanced with the labor that you put in right um, so for example uh, you know if uh, Adam is charging you I don't know say uh, 35 um, uh, coins for a week's supply of meat and you probably um, uh, you know um, charge him five uh, coins for making the bed right or five coins for making the bread for a day and uh, therefore you guys are gonna kind of balance uh, each other and they were like happy and you know they, they kind of went together uh, and you know what happened after that you know one day when you know uh, Eve was watching Adam catch a doe um, from under an apple tree something happened and you know things like that one thing led to another and so forth well now, now the issue there is that after a while they found themselves on earth with some kids and with those same hundred coins now after a while you know they found out what their mistakes were and they begged God to forgive them and whatever after a point the God said okay you come back to the heaven but your children you know leave them behind so these guys you know they gave those hundred coins they distributed among their children and said look these are the coins we have and you know uh, we don't need them anymore because we have found a way of balancing each other's uh, labors and efforts and so we don't have problems anymore and you need these coins and you take them uh, so they said fine we will we will do what you did and they took the coins cut again for a you know after a little while there's some 20 human beings there each of them has five coins All right that's the fair thing right each of them has five coins now it's a problem because because you can't really uh, you know do so much of commerce with just five coins with every person um, so one of them got an idea he said let's break the coins you know so they broke each coin in half and then half again so now what happened was that each of the people had 20 coins uh, coin parts or coin bits you know coin quarters yeah so they managed with 20 probably they could manage but guess what cut to present day if you have only hundred gold coins in seven billion people among seven billion people how do you share them right we will each probably have I don't know a few atoms and that's going to be very difficult to 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 do commerce with those atoms you know not 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 easy to hand over a few atoms to another human being for for a for a small little thing say a bread or whatever so that is the problem in fact God had suggested a solution to them but these people they kind of didn't agree you know God knew this God is you know omniscient he knows everything so right when Adam said you know I'm I'm alone and all that so God gave him the option God said you know what I'll make Steve for you and Adam and Steve you can live together ever after without any complications without any problems without any um, what are those 
um, side effects of apples but you know Adam refused and you know later on also they were uh, you know both Adam and Eve you know uh, when they had made that mistake of eating that apple God again gave them option he said you know what I'll make one more paradise I'll make two different paradises and I'll also make two more human beings I'll make a Steve and I'll make an Eva and then you know Adam and Steve can live together you know ever after with 25 coins each and even Eva can live together you know ever after happily with 25 coins each mm. these people didn't agree you know the solution was right there right in front of their eyes it was suggested by God but you know what we are now in this huge troublesome situation where we have much lower resources and many more people you know we still don't learn we still think that Adam and Steve is not a good idea and Eve and Eva is not a good idea I think I think we should we should rethink otherwise we're gonna be in big trouble anyway so that's the problem why you need to keep having your money supply expanding with the population so per person the money supply should approximately be the same it should be stable in terms of the population that I think is a desirable thing further apart from that there is another issue you know this increasing interest performs this function of increasing the money supply uh, the only problem is it tends to increase it not in sync with the population but in sync with some other um, the interests of some other vested interests yeah. so that is one service that interest provides keeping uh, you know inflating the money supply as the population increases or as the availability of resources increases or as uh, the, the, the consumable goods increase right other than that uh, you know if a person lends you money he is taking a risk right? so you know you may not want to or may not be in a position uh, to return that money or, or, or you may die before returning that money leaving no assets and no heirs so you know that money is lost to that that person further uh, even if you actually return back that money he is losing the opportunity to enjoy or painfully employ uh, his money right so some rental on money to cover these two factors as well as the operational expenses is due anyway now is interest the correct solution I don't know is interest based debt money the correct solution well that I know is not the correct solution what is the correct solution do I have any options at least not right now but if I don't have solutions should I still question a system well I think I should because not knowing a solution does not absolve me of the responsibility to talk of a problem perhaps someone else who is not so good at asking questions but much better at answering questions could find a solution and I think a question is as important if not more important than its answer goodbye dear diary